Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this isosceles triangle in between these two parallel lines, as you can see in this diagram, such that this angle is 124 degrees. And now we are going to calculate this angle X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's look at this angle, this straight angle from here all the way to here is 180 degrees. So therefore, this angle part is going to be simply 180 degrees minus 124 degrees. That is going to give us 56 degrees. So therefore, this angle is 56 degrees. So thus our this angle turns out to be 56 degrees. And now let's recall alternate interior angles theorem. Angles formed on the opposite side of a transversal when a transversal intersects two parallel lines as you can see in this diagram. And here these two angles are our alternate interior angles and they are congruent. So therefore, in our case, this angle and this angle, they are alternate interior angles. If this angle is 56 degrees, this angle has got to be 56 degrees as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle. And we know that this is an isosceles triangle since this side length equal to this side length. So therefore, this angle has got to be equal to this uh, angle. So therefore, these angles have got to be 62 degrees each. This one is 62 degrees and this one is 62 degrees uh, as well. And we can see the sum of these uh, three angles uh, are indeed equal to 180 degrees. And here's our final step. We know that this whole angle, this straight angle is 180 degrees and this is equal to the sum of these two individual angles. So therefore, we can write down 62 degrees plus angle X equal to 100 and 80 degrees. Let's subtract 62 degrees from both sides. This is gone. So our angle X turns out to be 118 degrees. So thus our angle X turns out to be 118 degrees. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.